Hey guys, so with the short and sweet album coming out by Sabrina Carpenter, if you haven't seen it, heard it, seen anything about it, where have you been? Was that like a Twilight reference? Where have you been, Loka? Was that... <sighs> Besides the point. With the album, a lot of rumors have been swirling around and I'm here to bring all of them to your guys' attention. This is truly riveting stuff, like life-changing, life-altering stuff. And yeah, so subscribe to the Bell for engagement. Let's just kind of get into it. Um, So... There are two aspects of the story that people are talking about. We have Barry and we have Camilla. <laughs> Sounds like I'm talking about like uh, Diana, like Princess Diana. And I mean, to be fair, Sabrina is the Princess Diana of this generation. I don't know, I just said that, but it could be true. So Sabrina and Barry have been dating for a minute, a split second. They met kind of end of 2023. I did a whole video about that, just like everything to do with them. But we haven't heard of them in a while which to a lot of people means they've broken up. Uh, but they are still kind of interacting with each other on social media. Well, he's interacting with her on social media. She hasn't liked his pictures in a while, and I know, like, who cares? But she was liking his pictures before, and she's not now. And when a girl stops liking your pictures, there's clearly a reason for that. You know, she wasn't just doing that for fun. Whereas he's still liking her posts and commenting on her posts, so there seems to be a bit of a disparity between their public showing off of the relationship, whether it still exists or not. She also has a song on the album called Bed Chem, which is um, allegedly pretty much proved to be about Barry. Uh, there are like references to outfits he's worn on the red carpet uh, on the same time that she was at the red carpet and times that they allegedly met up and blah, blah. So Bed Chem, it seems to be about Barry. We saw a lot of them back then. Like I feel like it was kind of being shoved down our throats. I, I loved it, but that's, you know, they were at Coachella together, they were at the Met Gala together, they were seen on dates, they were seen out. They, the music video, please, 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 the music video. Uh, but they haven't been seen together much lately. And she was in London recently and they went on a date. She looks a little bit miserable. Like they definitely don't look as happy as they did once upon a time. And this was actually, when was this? June 19th, haven't really seen them together since. It's now August 28th. This is truly riveting stuff. Now, there are two stories, and I started TikTok about this, so I'm stealing this idea. There's two stories. There is the Sabrina story, and then there is the Barry story. The Barry story is, they're fine, they're together, they're vibing. The Sabrina story is, he parties a lot. And so I think, the way we're seeing the sources, you know, like sources for People Magazine, and sources for the Daily Mail, and sources for blah, blah. We're seeing these sources have a bit of a split down the middle. Like I said, there's the Barry side, well, the Barry favoring side, and then there's the Sabrina favoring side. The Sabrina favoring side is saying he parties a lot. He gets dr really, really drunk. I was gonna say wasted and drunk at the same time. He's drasted. He doesn't know how to act with a little bit of alcohol. And we've kind of seen that. He, like when he was in the Marvel movie, I think it was, he got wasted and then was arrested because he was causing like a nuisance on the street. Clearly him and alcohol, not best buds don't make the best decisions when he's drunk. His side is still like, they are just, you know, busy, her tour is coming up, but they are fine. Are they fine though? Here is the timeline of the relationship by People Magazine. I like to reference People Magazine a lot only because once upon a time I heard that People Magazine is where celebrities send their sources if they want information out there that agrees with them. So like, the Daily Mail, no. The Sun, no. But People Magazine is basically, if People Magazine says a source said this and this, it is a source pretty much directly from the celebrity that they are referencing because that celebrity wanted that story to be out. So it's, it's almost like gospel, but that's what I heard. Sabrina Carpenter and Barry Keegan. Is that how you say her surname? Kyogen? I think it's Kyogen. Uh, relationship timeline. So, September 28th is uh, where they meet during Paris Fashion Week. And then December, Sabrina and Barry spark dating rumors. And then they were grabbing dinner together in LA, according to photos obtained by the Daily Mail. They kept a low profile, blah, blah. January, step out for a date night. February, first public appearance together at the Grammy after party. And then we have Feb, they confirmed their romance. I mean, she looks a lot happier in this picture on the date and so does he. As you know, opposed to the one I just showed you guys. They were seen showing PDA in LA mid-February, blah, blah, blah. Then we have, he supports her at the Eris tour in March, 2024. I can't believe Sabrina was opening for the Eris tour in March, 2024. And now she has literally hogged the top 10 for the last like two months. Like the way your life can change. 
I mean, she has been at this for a decade, but the way your life can change in a matter of months. And then March, uh, red carpet debut as a couple. This was at the Vanity Fair Oscars after party, blah, blah, blah. And then he's supporting her at Coachella in April. She obviously had this like small stage at Coachella. I mean, once again, can't believe that Espresso came out for Coachella. Like she literally dropped it to perform at Coachella. And now it's literally the biggest song of the summer, followed by the other biggest song of the summer, followed by the biggest album of the summer. Like it is really crazy. I don't know. May attend the Met Gala together. And then he throws Sabrina Carpenter at 25th birthday party. And then June, we have the Please 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 music video, which is like the biggest hard launch we've seen in a while. I mean, it is a lot to put your A-list actor boyfriend in your music video for a song that beat your other song to number one, followed by then your album and a different song that then beat that song to the number one. Like I said, life is crazy. And then somewhere between June and August, pretty much a month yeah june 6th august 6th we're seeing a bit of a weird shift okay so please 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 is a song about a guy that you're dating who you don't want to embarrass you so she's saying please 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 don't prove i'm right and yeah so uh, i heard that you're an actor to act like a stand-up guy the whole song is basically about just like don't embarrass me like anything you do is fine but just don't embarrass me now august 6th sabrina carpenter says barry is one of the best actors of this generation and this is an interview that she did with Variety. They asked her about Barry and instead of saying like, yeah, we're dating or like, yeah, he's a great guy, blah, blah. She just said, she might sound biased, but he's one of the best actors of this generation. I don't know. I mean, it's nice, but it definitely gives off like corporate vibes. It gives colleague vibes. Uh, then August 18th, um, a source says Sabrina Carpenter, Barry Keoghan have an on and off relationship. So Dumois reported their split which he then shut down allegedly by liking one of her sultry Instagram photos. I mean, that doesn't really disprove anything to me. You could be broken up and still thirsting off your ex. Um, But a source then told People, and like I said, People is where celebrities go to, to spread their news. So I'm assuming this was a Sabrina Carpenter source that said, we are on and off. So that was that until August 18th. Uh, This is the... One of the sources, we have Serena Carpenter spills all on falling in love following claims pop star has dumped Barry after growing frustrated by his drunken partying. So she obviously did chicken shop date with Amelia and she, Amelia basically probed, do you find it easy to fall in love? And she joked, what questions spring on me in this chicken shop? Uh, when I was younger, I fell in love very easy and now I fall in love a bit more. I don't know, I don't want this to sound sad, but maybe just fall in love with some more knowledge. Yes, because you've got more experience, replied Amelia. Well, so they say. Uh, so this gives kind of room for those please, please, please doubts to come in. Like, mm, you would think I'd make better decisions. That's what that's what basically what it's saying, right? Yes, because you've got more experience. Well, so they say. So it's like, kind of like, I'm supposed to be making better decisions, but kind of not. And then we have this one. Uh, so yeah, the relationship was on and off. It's an exclusive people source. So he obviously responded to the breakup by liking one of her posts, but Apparently amid the split rumors, a source exclusively tells people that the relationship between Carpenter 25 and Kyogen 31 is on and off. And then he likes that post, reached out to reps for comment. And then Carpenter alluded to them having an undefined relationship in a June interview with Rolling Stones, this was June. When asked if she refers to the actor as her boyfriend, she replied, how do I scut around this question? She continued, the dating pool is the pool. And when you meet people that feel authentic and are so brilliant and amazing in every way, that's what you do. Obviously I write songs about exactly how I feel. So I guess I can't be surprised that people are interested in who and what those songs are about. That's something that comes with the territory. But that really doesn't address if he is her boyfriend or not. I mean, if he was, she probably would have said as much. And then there was another People article about um, how they're basically on and off but she calls him such a great actor. So she's playing coy when it comes to the status of the relationship. She praised working with him, who starred in the Police Beauty music video as one of the best experiences I've ever had. I'm very honored and I got to work with such a great actor. She told the outlet with the reporter noting Carpenter then scrunched her face, mocked her own coy dip- diplomacy and repeated that he's such a great actor in a mocking voice. So she's like making fun of, hello. So she's making fun of herself for basically just trying to skirt around the topic and be very like political about it, just like, don't say anything, but also say everything at the same time. That's the rules of politics. Now, his sources for them being together is liking and commenting on her Instagram pictures. He even recently commented on like, the Bratz doll of Jenna Ortega and um, Sabrina Carpenter. He says, can I have one? Which once again, it's so vague that I'm like, I mean, this could just be him thirsting after her. So I don't know. I wish them the best. That's that. 
But then we have more drama, which is actually more interesting. So Taste is the first song on the Short and Sweet album, and it is about a love triangle that she was in. There is something that Sabrina loves to do, and it's be in a love triangle. I mean, the whole driver's license, Olivia Rodrigo, Joshua Bassett situation didn't teach us anything because it's happened again. So we have Camila Cabello, Shawn Mendes, Sabrina Carpenter. So Shawn and Sweet came out on Friday, and the first song is Taste, which is about, allegedly, Camilla and Shawn. So there were obviously a bit of a refresher on Camilla and Sean. Their relationship started in 2019 because of the Senorita song. They spent COVID together in 2021. They announced a breakup, ended on good terms. Now in 2023, in February, Sean was seen with Sabrina a lot. Um, there was like sightings out and about. Michelle Dumas talks about it. So in March, he was asked in an interview they were dating, which he denied. And then next month, he was seen kissing Camilla at Coachella, which then kind of rekindled things for them. But then they called it off again pretty soon after, basically saying like, we tried it again, it didn't work out. Camilla even went on um, the Call Her Daddy podcast to talk about how like they both came to that conclusion. They just said like, it's just not working. I have love for you, you have love for me, but it's just not working. That's no offense to anyone. Now, all the pre-Espresso Sabrina Carpenter fans know that she released like a Christmas album and there was a song on there called Cindy Lou Who, which is speculated that it's about Camilla and Sean. It's, I saw you laughing in one of his pictures, but you'll be the one with the ring on your finger. There's red and green everywhere, but I'm so blue, Cindy Lou Who. Maybe he met you somewhere in the desert. While he was soul searching, he found someone better. Guess you make him happy like I couldn't do, Cindy Lou Who. With your hair so long, lips so red. Maybe we met once, I forget. Scream five years back, I'm obsessed. Breaking my heart, tis the season, I guess. And this is obviously about <laughs> Camilla Cabello. Like I don't, it's not even like vague. Obviously the desert talks about Coachella's out in the desert, so they were seen together and then they rekindled that Coachella, which is in the desert. I felt like I just needed to break that down for everyone, but that's, you know, we're all smart here. We all understand what's going on. Now on the new song, Taste, the lyrics are, Oh, I leave quite an impression, five feet to be exact. You're wondering why half is close, meant missing. My body's where they at. Now I'm gone, but you're still laying next to me, one degree of separation. Um, I heard you're back together, and if that's true, you'll just have to taste me when he's kissing you. If you want forever, I bet you do. Just know you'll taste me too, which is like the most recognizable part of the song. It's it's typical love triangle things. You had him, now I had him, and then you're having him again. You want forever with him, but I'm still lingering. Blah, blah, blah. Then we have Coincidence, which is another song that's allegedly about this situation. What a surprise, your phone just died. Your car drove itself from LA to her thighs. Palm Springs looks nice, but who's by your side? Damn it, she looks kind of like the girl you outgrew. At least that's what you said. There was like a thing allegedly that Shawn Mendes said he outgrew Camila Cabello. Um, that came out in like, a, I believe like a blind item. And then obviously he drove itself from LA to her thighs. Palm Springs looks nice. It's all the pictures of them at Coachella. Now the Taste music video is with Jenna Ortega, who I guess kind of references looks wise Camila Cabello, mainly with the purple dress, which was similar to like her Met Gala purple dress. And I guess it's supposed to kind of reference Camila Cabello essentially. I'm not saying Jenna Ortega and Camila Cabello look the same, but the dark long hair, the purple dress, it kind of all references Camila Cabello. Now Camila very coincidentally has blonde hair now and a little fringe like Sabrina Cop. Not, not saying that that's the Sabrina hair, but it kind of is the Sabrina hair. Like if you go and get this hair done, what are you asking your hairdresser for? What is your Pinterest post? Like what, what are you searching for? It's obviously Sabrina Carpenter. So it's very, and June Gloom is apparently about um, Sabrina Carpenter. So she's just posted a TikTok with this Sabrina Carpenter hair using her song June Gloom, which is about Sabrina. There was this thread about Camilla Cabello's obsession with Sabrina Carpenter explained. A thread, I mean, this looks crazy. Where's the rest of the thread? Oh, here it is. So Sabrina and Sean start dating, began 2023. Camilla likes multiple posts of Sabrina without following her. Even her friends and producers aren't safe. Then we have Camilla reacts to Sabrina and Sean going to the Vanity Fair Oscar party together. So yeah, that's the, I guess, response. And then Sean denies the rumors. And then Sean tells Sabrina that what they had was never serious despite the both being deeply intimate with each other. We had sex, I met your best friends. If that was casual, then I'm an idiot. What a surprise, your phone just died. The lyrics I was just talking about. And then obviously Cindy Lou Who. You're wondering why half his clothes went missing. My body's where they're at. I mean, these pictures. I guess she's wearing a bunch of his clothes. And then here's the purple dress uh, that we were talking about. Oh, there's also sharpest tool. I know you're not the sharpest tool in the shed. Just because you talk like one doesn't make you a man. You're so sad, there's no communication. <laughs> And then this one is actually crazy because Sean Mendes tweeted out, obsession with giraffes, lol, they're so ugly. 
and then when people don't act their age and in this song slim pickings we have this boy doesn't even know the difference between their their and they are which couldn't be more pointed uh but it's kind of funny and then when she was seen with Barry for the first time publicly, he liked one of her posts. So obviously he's just typical, typical behavior. And then obviously she does her rebrand to look like Sabrina, uh, which is interesting. And then in June Gloom, which is the song that she just did a TikTok to, she says, if she's so amazing, why are you on this side of town? If you like her so much, what are you here trying to find out? Does she get this wet for you, baby? Talk to you in poems and songs, huh, baby? And obviously two days after Short and Sweep dropped, she does a TikTok to that song with the hair, which is weird, but they were, pictured together at this year's Vanity Fair, which is so awkward. And Camila Cabello basically said that Espresso is the song of the summer. So things change very quickly in show business, I guess. And then this insane picture, I thought this was insane. This is from the Met Gala. I mean, it's like actually insane, right? Cause Sabrina could do the funniest thing and just like post this somewhere, <laughs> but she wouldn't obviously cause it's another like love triangle that she's in, but it's like insane. People are basically calling Sabrina pick me for, or like not a girl's girl for kind of getting into another love triangle and then bashing the other woman. But apparently Camilla was the one that spoke up first, but it's just her album didn't hit as hard as short and sweet. So no one really knew, but she was already talking about this for a while. What kills me about this Camilla Sabrina Sean drama is they're trying to get on Sabrina for accusing Camilla of a bunch of shit she admitted to doing first on her own album. And people are just now finding out because nobody listened to it. Yeah, this side of town stuff that I just talked about. She's an extra, I'm your leading lady. Yeah, so obviously this beef has been going on for a while. And overall stuff, I guess, for this album, you guys know I'm a Sabrina fan and she's just occupied the entire top 10 on the US and the global Spotify <laughs> debut charts. This is like insane to see, right? Because when you used to listen to Sabrina Carpenter, she had about like, 10 million monthly listeners on Spotify to now going past the 100 million mark and literally taking up the whole top songs. It's a crazy time to be a Sabrina fan, truly. Also, I do agree that Don't Smell needs to be higher up on the rankings. I don't know why it's so low for everyone. It's like the perfect driving song. Maybe it's just the fact that people nowadays don't have driver's licenses and they're not driving as much. It's what I heard. Apparently young people are not getting driver's licenses anymore because everything's so expensive. Maybe it's just a, too much of a driving song, um, but I love that one. So I think more people should listen to it. And that's all the drama with Sabrina Carpenter, Shawn Mendes, Barry, Camila Cabello, and the Short and Sweet album. So let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, hit the bell icon for engagement. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.